Hey everyone, it's Shannon. Happy New Year. Can you believe that we are in 2024? I cannot, but here we are nonetheless. I am just going to share today some of the scrapbooking projects that I'm going to do or planning to do this year. I'm trying to kind of stick to my strengths this year and keep it simple. I think last year was a write-off for me in the scrapbooking world. Um, I know I've shared a hundred times that we did some renovations. Yes, we know, Shannon, you renovated your house. Yes, I know, we renovated our house. It took over our lives. It's finished. We moved in in November, December, so we are so grateful to have done that. But it really messed with my scrapbooking, I have to tell you. First of all, like life is just renovation, 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 so your brain has no room for anything else. Your camera roll is full of pictures of toilets and Ikea price tags. And then um, having no space of my own. I really didn't figure in how much that would affect my scrapbooking, not having my space. Now I, I like, I had a literal space, but I was kind of crammed in my husband's old study with my son's PC uh, and it was just not the same. And I didn't realize how much scrapbooking to me is a lot about my environment. So I like, you know, my candle, my coffee, my music, um, I just needed my stuff and I didn't have my stuff and it really affected my creativity. That being said, I did get some things done. Um, I did December daily. I kept it really simple. I called it half ass December daily and I basically did a photo and a caption every day and it was fantastic. It's completed and I'm hoping to send that off uh, to print as a book in the next couple of weeks and I will share that as another video. But um, having said that, it's a new year. I'm in my new space kind of. I'm sitting on a plastic lawn chair and my Mac is kind of teetering on a wobbly fold-out table right now because I'm getting a desk built after you know the break but I have a space. I have a space, I have my things and I am happy, happy, happy. So first up is this sentence a day concept. Um, so I came up with these templates last year. They're already in the shop. Let's have a quick look in my Lightroom. This is what they look like. So it's a set there, various configurations, you know, bigger photos, smaller photos. And you basically um, put in a sentence a day, obviously, and some photos here and there if you like to. You can always remove some of the photos and move things around. So that's what the template set looks like. And I have already started. So here's one we've done earlier on. And obviously we're in January and it's the fourth here today. So I've got my first, second, third and fourth sentences in. I've stuck some photographs um, into there. I've got to find something to put in for today. And then I'll just continue that on and switching out the templates and, you know, just moving the configurations around. But I thought this will be a really easy way to capture the little things in life. So my plan is to kind of note something down every night in my diary slash planner and obviously make sure I've got kind of photos going along with that. Uh, but the photos are kind of secondary to this. They're also tiny photo spots. And you can see here already the, um, I watched the 1971 documentary, which was fantastic on Apple TV. And I've just taken that photo from Google Images to put into there. So this is more about note taking and if I can get into the habit of uh, remembering to take notes every day then I'll be fine with this and at the end of the year I'm hoping to turn this into an 8 by 10 photo book and I'll just have a lovely little kind of rundown of all the small things uh, that happened in our year and I'm really looking forward to this one. The other year-long project that I want to do is a 10 by 8 photo book. So 10 by 8 has become a really popular size in December daily and things like that. And I think mainly because everybody loves uh, getting those huge photographs in there. And 10 by 8 has been around for a long time for digital scrapbooks. It's one of the traditional sizes of photo books. So we generally had 10 by 8, 8 by 10 and 12 by 12. So I'm really familiar with that size, but I've been doing portrait books for so long. It would just be nice to do it in a landscape size and have you know, a different size to look at every time I open up the templates. 
Um, this is the template set. So I already have this in the shop. It's called the Tempo 8 Grid Template Set. And it's, you can see they're very simple. So what I wanna do here, and I have already started of course, so let's have a look is basically put photographs and some notes into there. So this is my very first spread. You can see I've got some photographs here and then I've done January 1 and just noted down some things that we did on the 1st of January. The new year things and the good things ahead are Patreon supplies that I've got from Life Love Paper. I love um, Tina's stuff. It just is very plain and simple and to my taste a lot. And I was looking through my stuff today, so I pulled some of those things out. So that's why I've used most of her stuff on this layer. It's really simple. You can see I've just popped some photographs in. I'm trying not to make my project life um, and scrapbooking all about my new house renovation, but pretty much that's what life's about at the moment. So there's a lot of housey things. It's also uh, summer here. We're having the weirdest summer, hot, muggy, stormy, rainy, so weird. So we're hanging out in inside a lot and we're not doing a lot. So there's a lot of indoor photos. So this is my first spread. Then I've got my second spread and my third spread there. And I've done a little currently card there. Um, also, that is from the Life of Paper as well. I think that currently. And then I've just typed up things from Kristen's um, Awesome Ladies Project currently card. I just typed it in this way because it wouldn't fit with Kristen's card. And I've just got some little photos of things. So obviously I'm putting, um, you know, doubling up on some of the sentence a day things. But this these photos are bigger and it's just a different project. And you can see here, you know, space for large photos as well. So some of these photos I used back when I developed this in October. And I'm just using them because I didn't do anything with the October ones. And I'm looking forward to putting in some kind of really large photos like this throughout the book as we go. So that's kind of three pages in. Um, my idea is to just do it monthly and I don't even need to sort of separate the months out or anything. And it doesn't matter. I know January is going to be the fullest because I'm always really inspired at the start of the year and then, you know, things happen and it gets less. But if I can just keep on doing a couple of pages a month, I'm going to really like this. And I think Having it as the 10 by 8 photo book, the photos will come out nice and glossy. And you'll see here in my um, template set, I've got different configurations. So some larger photos when I need those and smaller ones as well. And I'm only kind of using this as a place for journal cards, a couple of notes. But like I said, it's really all about the photographs, this project. And the final thing I'm going to do is just make real scrapbook pages. I've got myself a 6x8 album with page protectors ready to go. I've got a couple of uh, little notebooks for daily pages. I've got my art journal. So now that I'm kind of going to be set up properly again, I want to just be able to make a random scrapbook page that doesn't fit into any of these two projects. So I just want that easily accessible and if I feel like making a scrapbook page about something that happened when I was five years old I can do that and it might not fit into these and I've got a spot for it. I also my one little word for this year is connect so I feel like in the last year I've really um, gone into my introvert self probably too much. I also have a daughter who's doing her final year of high school this year and I'm just very conscious of making sure we are all connecting. Also, it sounds ridiculous, but having this second story built onto our house, here she goes again, um, we're a lot more spread out and we need to make more conscious effort to connect. And I also want to connect more. I missed my scrapbook friends a lot while I was kind of um, doing things and not in the scrapbook world last year. Um, so connect, connect, connect is my thing. So every Friday I am going to share a little kind of icebreaker prompt or a silly prompt or a question or something on Instagram and I'm going to make a scrapbook page or a daily page or something about it and I'm going to invite all of you to make something as well or to just comment on my post because I love to get to know everybody through the scrapbooking. I can't tell you the 
um, deepest, darkest things that people have learned about each other from scrapbooking pages. I'm not an oversharer in general life or on Instagram, but in my scrapbook pages, I sometimes forget that I am sharing everything and I'll put something uh, a page up and then people are asking me about some health thing or my sister or something I'm like oh that's right that was all in there and you know I just I really love that part of scrapbooking I love to learn about everybody so I thought it'll be something fun um, I'm going to post them on Fridays I wanted to call it something like free flag Friday but I thought maybe that hashtag would get us into some trouble and we might be kind of going into worlds on Instagram that we might not want to um, travel to with that hashtag. So I'm just going to post something. If you see it on Instagram, a little question or something, please feel free to make a, a little page or just let me know your thoughts on that prompt because I really do want to get to know everybody a bit more and connect a bit more because we're all, you know, so disconnected in other parts of our life. Anyway, that is enough from me. So that's what I'm doing, an 8 by 10 book, no, a 10 by 8 book, I don't know if I'm ever going to get that right, um, a sentence a day project, and then just some random things that you're going to see from me. Of course, I'll be sharing on Instagram um, as usual. I'm also working on my classes that I keep talking about. So the first two classes I have planned for the Shannon Pages classroom is minimalist memory keeping and some digital scrapbooking basic classes. Um, I don't know what's coming out first, but I'm hoping to get at least one of those out in February. And I'm working hard on it, but it's been a lot harder. And like I said, I didn't know the last six months of 2023 would just kind of disappear in a whatever, a vortex of things. Um, thank you guys for watching and I will be um, here again soon. Okay, Happy New Year. Bye.